Okay, I should know this. But I'm gonna use it to make sure I move up. Okay. Um, I'm gonna use my phone a friend. All right, who are we gonna call? Um, my father. Call your father, very good. All right, let's get Dad on the line. Hello? Hello, Mr. Zecker. Yes. Hi, Regis Philbin from Super Millionaire. How are you? I'm fine. I'm sitting here with your son. He's blazed through the first six questions. Has uh, a need for some help on uh, on the next one, though. I hope I can do it. All right, so he's won 10,000, going for 20,000, and you've got 30 seconds, and the time starts right now. Dad, Majority Leader Bill Friss represents what state in the U.S. Senate? South Carolina, Kentucky, Georgia, or Tennessee? Bill Fritz. The majority leader in the U.S. Senate. My, my inkling is for Tennessee, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm 50% uh, chance on that. From okay. Tennessee, I believe. I know he's from a southern state. Okay, thank you. Well, 50 plus 46 equals 96. I'm going to say Tennessee, final answer. Everybody was right. <laughs> Okay, it took two lifelines, but sometimes that's the way the game has to be played. Still have one more lifeline, and here it comes for $30,000. Able to make sounds that measure up to 188 decibels. Which of these animals is the loudest on Earth? African elephant, screech owl, howl a monkey, blue whale. What are you thinking right now? I'm thinking I have no clue, Regis. <laughs> well, start thinking about that other lifeline, and that'll give you a 50% break on it. I'm leaning towards D, maybe, but... You ever heard a, a whale make a sound? Have you ever heard I haven't heard a howl or monkey make a sound either. <laughs> so why are you thinking blue whale? I'm just curious. Because I know they, have a, they must have a high-pitched sound the way they communicate. I know whales communicate with high-pitched squeals, I think, either them or dolphins. Or... Yeah, I don't, I don't watch the Discovery Channel that much. <laughs> Next time, stop by. You might like it. Why do we do the 50-50? That's the smart thing to do. Computer, take away randomly two of those wrong answers. Howl a monkey and a blue whale. I said if I got to this point, I was gonna, wasn't going to risk it, but my mind is being changed right now. You know, you can always leave with the $20,000. If you miss, you know, you'll leave with 5000 But if you want to go for it, maybe it's 30000 Well, final answer. Yes, blue whale. $30,000. The life lines the ball, but he's going to come back and try for 50 grand. Back in a moment. He's won $30,000. He's going for 50000 and hopefully you're going to get there. Now, Christine, uh, his wife, probably hanging onto his seat up there, right? <laughs> I'm stressed. Yeah, next time, let him stop at Discovery Animal Planet. Once in a while, ABC. We'd appreciate it. <laughs> I'll see yeah. what I can do. We just need to get to that $100,000 and new lifelines kick in right now. You're out of the old ones, all right? Let's go, Josh. Let's play.
Seven away from 10 million, going for $50,000. Here it is. Since 2000, the United States' largest annual trade deficit has been with what country? Germany, Japan, Canada, China. Since 2000. B and D. I'm leaning towards D because I think Japan was in the past. Wise men again? No, not yet. <laughs> Wise men waiting in ether. Can I confer with my wife? Yeah. <laughs> you said earlier you're not much of a risk taker, are you? I mean, you lose twenty-five thousand here if you got it wrong, but fifty thousand dollars gives you a chance to go on. Very few chances to win thirty thousand in my life. Even less to win fifty, though. D China, final answer. Oh, yes, it's China. Zecker took the chance, and it paid off for him. He's won 50000 Now, one more correct answer. You're up there at $100,000, and you can't leave here with less than that. You understand that, Josh? Can you say it one more time? <laughs> Take a look at this, pal. Here it is, $100,000. What does the RR stand for in the name of the Lord of the Rings author, J.R.R. Tolkien? Randolph Ryan. Richard Rees, Roland Reiner, Ronald Rule. The only RR I know is the LIRR. <laughs> that's, that's not it. No. That's not one of the answers. But nice try. You're an old New Yorker, aren't you? Yes, yes I am. Long Island Railroad, yeah. <laughs> There's uh, a lot of other people that want to get on this seat, and I'm going to be happy with $50,000, Regis. All right, I understand. Here's your check for $50,000. Good luck, Josh. Nice to have you. Good for Tesla. A lot of fun. Well, the correct answer, and I'll bet there are a lot of kids out there shouting at the screen, is Ronald Rule. But as Josh said, there are nine other people.